Thank you for tuning in to No Flag Radio. I'm your host, P. Kicking the ballistics. Today we're talking about this notion of even when I'm wrong, I'm still white. There was a show that Zoe Williams put up about a week ago. And shout out to Zoe Williams, the voice of reason. He does great work. And they got me thinking. I was like, yeah, I might want to do a quick post on it. I was going to put up a comment on it, but it got long. And I said, well, that's the reason I started my channel in the first place. is because my comments on social media just was just long. I needed a place to not to have to be concise, but still be concise. And, you know, show my personality for real, you know. I mean, y'all can read a comment and be like, yeah, brother, that's the 100% truth. But if y'all hear my voice, it means something a little more. So, we're talking about, even when I'm wrong, I'm still white. That was the topic. And in my mind, I thought, man, you know, who the fuck would need to create a system like that? You know what I mean? Obviously not a dominant being, right? That kills the white notion of dominance that you may have heard, seen, or read about, been whispered to about. That dynamic alone of even when I'm wrong, I'm still white. That dynamic kills it. I say this all the time. Dominance doesn't need to tool, machine, or manufacture an underclass or an underdeveloped class of people, which bleeds over into social, economically, and politically in order to be dominant, right? If you're on my channel, you already know that that's how I'm coming. I'm just saying it for the new faces because I got some new faces over the past couple weeks. Some new classmates, I should say, because I'm in the same classroom as y'all, you know what I mean? It's just I get called to spit freestyles in front of the class when the teacher step out to go take a piss. <laughs> All right, so we're talking about the notion of white dominance. And we know we call them the dominant society. We talk about global white supremacy being a dominant prop in the world. So this concept of even when I'm wrong, I'm still white. Even when I'm wrong, I'm still dominant. If whiteness is the base of dominance, and at this point in the conversation, we'll just say, despite all degeneracy, because that's how they pushing it, we got to throw that in there. Whiteness is the face of dominance, despite all degeneracy. So we're talking about all the kid raping they do, all the woman violating, the man raping, the man violating, the social, economic, and political rigging that they do so only one group can have success, right? The hand-holding white groups get at every point of encounter, the bar lowering as far as standards for greatness at every turn, you know what I mean? They got a culture of bar lowering. White societies globally are bar lowering territories if white people are to be in power and dominant. You gotta, you gotta let little Timmy get the biggest trophy on the field for riding the bench. You know what I mean? While little DeAndre, he get the smallest trophy but he got 10,000 yards, 47 touchdowns. You understand? Right? This is the mind fuck they're doing on us every day with this approach to dominance. So degeneracy and being weak is the bar when it comes to white dominance. Fuck being great. Fuck being great at shit. Degeneracy and being weak is the bar. In territories where they fit under this prop dominance globally, worldwide. So in my mindset, I'm like, all right, fuck it. Let's show them we can be good at being fuck ups too. They know us for being good at being good. So now let's switch shit up, right? It's my mind state. Right? Since they label dominant being good at being a fuck up, then let's show them we can be good at being fuck ups too. 
Let me break it down in terms of some church shit for all my church people out there. Y'all know I don't fuck with church, but listen to what I'm trying to say to you, though. It'll make sense. Let me just say this about white Jesus. White Jesus, y'all notice white Jesus don't help us when we play by our rules. As far as black people, when we play by our rules of being good and doing right and being great at shit, you notice that Jesus don't really help us. Jesus only help when we play by their rules. Which means fuck being goody two shoes all the way. Fuck being great at shit. We need to start being degenerate like them. And I say it's cool because we got stuff in the universe, moral credit and all kind of things with the universe. Things that are inherent in our relationship to the universe and to our ancestors that absolve us from the type of blowback that they would get if they was to try the shit. We got karma on our side. We've got a relationship to melanin that's helpful. We got ancestors who want to see us rise up and fight fire with fire. These are things that are evident. You know, uh, Michelle Obama say, when they go low, we go high. And that shit is as dead as the white Jesus narrative in 2018. (laughs) That shit is as dead as white Jesus when he died on that cross, as they say, and they made up for you to believe. It's as dead as that shit. Whoever the fuck that motherfucker is. Like I said, if whiteness is the face of dominance, despite all degeneracy, the kid raping, the woman violating, the killing, the man raping, the man violating, the social, economical, and political rigging towards only white people having success, and the hand-holding they get, and the bar lowering they get, if that makes them the face of dominance, then what are we doing not being at least partly degenerate right back toward them? If it's about who can be the biggest degenerate, then fine. It's about who's the biggest degenerate. But only part and parcel, because like I said, we we got to beat y'all at football, basketball. We got to beat you at the number of schools that our whiz kids get admitted to, all the Ivy League schools and shit every year, right? So many of of our black youths this year have been admitted to all the fucking Ivy League schools, all that type of shit. We got to do that shit. Still got to do that shit. We still got to out-reproduce and out-birth rate this white supremacist terrorist dominating group, right? How they have come to be known. We still got to do that shit. Plus, keep the cognizance or keep a cognizance to be degenerate. I'm working on a line of t-shirts that's going to speak to this. Real simple design, but y'all going to like that shit. I plan some shit. Y'all going to like it. We got to fight degeneracy with degeneracy when they go degenerate we go degenerate but we still got to beat them in football basketball all that other shit i mean it's it's a balance we got to strike and i believe we can do it i believe we can tune this shit properly it's the law of my art god damn it for those that fuck with that shit how we think you know what we call dominant you know i used to say all the time you know we're not gonna let white people sully the name of dominance and all of the high-minded attributes that we attribute to dominance with their white supremacist terrorist degeneracy. We're just going to keep filling up our dictionary with the scientifically accurate terms in terms of social sciences and genetic sciences to describe dominance. And although that's a noble way to approach it, and we've done it the noble way, and the universe has taken note of our nobility, it's not intelligent to meet someone aggressing you, duressing you, stressing you, straining you with a noble hand. Especially when the universe been taking a tally of them being fucked up and you being good in the face of it. It's like, all right, now what? So our new focus should be, okay, we've tried this. It's got us kicks in the ass. It's got countries like China running up in Africa and they could just run up to any puppet leader in Africa and be like, all right, now look, take this money, bitch. And we're going to shit on your people. It's got our guard down a lot of ways to where we don't have an aggression factor to us where we don't just say, okay, you the puppet leader, you get murked, bitch. 
And I hear a lot from my African brothers and sisters. Yes, brother, we are very nice people. Yes, we are very kind, very nice. I'm like, yeah, I see that. You know what I mean? But the universe wants us to show the world that we are the supreme intelligence on earth. That we have the intelligence to show the whole world the flip side of our coin. That we know it's two sides to this coin. And the other side of shit is, look, we tried it this way. Now, fuck your life, fuck your death. We moving like this. Just like y'all flip on us, we can flip on y'all too. That's really all I think the universe want to see from us in mass. Continent for continent, right? So I think it's about us defining our open enemies and everybody who want to double team, triple team, quadruple team us with them and moving into some sort of black progress and empowerment from it. We've seen this. We know everybody, they will put aside kicking each other ass just to come over here and fuck with us because they know we the greatest, we the best, and we these high functioning high-minded beings that are chosen by the universe to have access to the universe in a way that nobody else does and they jealous of it, right? We know this shit, right? And I'm sure you heard the saying, the way you fix a problem is to change how you define the problem or how you view the problem or how you word it. And yeah, we running with that. We just need to make an insertion point in our mind psychologically to not always be goody-goody two-shoes and trying to be dominant through that, but... We can also be degenerate and be dominant through that. I truly believe that. And I believe we got enough moral credit stacked up with the universe to pull the shit off and nothing fucked up happened to us. But only good stuff come out of it. The way our ancestors allow us to punch a motherfucker out that call us the N-word. They allow us to punch them out real hard and we get away. We run away. We leave the scene. Nobody come and sniff us out. The way we pick up a trash can and beat a motherfucker upside the head that's on some bullshit trying to hate on blackness that we see and we smell them out for that shit and then the ancestors give us the strength to do that shit it'd be real shit I mean so like I said I'm not trying to shit on what we've put down and what we've laid down in terms of us being dominant beings because I can hear the people now like oh man no brother we are we're righteous people we're divine people we are yes we are we are very much so our dominance based in our divinity is not a passing narrative that we're just going to ignore, right? We're going to keep understanding that. But when we're dealing with being double team, triple team, quadruple team with people who team up with white supremacist terrorism and white supremacist terrorists themselves, when we deal with that, all they see as far as dominance is not any of our divinity. They don't see none of that. They know it, but they don't act on it, all right? So when their dominance is based in inhumane acts, essentially giving up all of the high-minded attributes that we give to dominance, that one would associate with dominance, and repeated non-justice, repeated pedophilia, repeated raping of women, repeated victim-making scenarios across social, economic, and political fronts, degeneracy is now the most used feature of your time and space on this earth, right? So this is what they're dealing in. Degeneracy is their most used feature of their time and space. And we can't act like that's not what's going on. Because look at all the shit they do. They don't want dominance the way we would approach it. Being skilled, being forthright, being genetically superior, And in their case, they don't want to investigate what it would take for them to be able to live and not die under natural sunlight without killing themselves from chemtrails, right? This is the shit they're going through. They don't, you know, uh, they don't want to investigate how to increase their cerebral spinal fluid without killing themselves. They don't want to investigate how to make white female uteruses work and reproduce. Notice they've given up on all of that. Y'all see that, right? They don't want organic dominance. They want manufactured dominance while envying the near invincibility that black people have because they know we can achieve dominance organically given our relationship to the universe, given our relationship to our karma. That's the thick of the topic today, you know what I mean? 
So they ratcheting up this dominance thing over the past few years due to near invincibility resting with us. That's my main point. We are the gatekeepers to what they really want. And they realize that they're taking the long, arduous, negative karma field route to achieving dominance using the social, economic, and political arms of a system that has to constantly be washed over with the narrative of white supremacy, white dominance through terrorism, right? Socially terrorized through menticide. And I talked about menticide on my video on black cohesion. Economically terrorized through wealth calcification. Politically terrorized through policing units, race soldier units, like the preppers or the prepper militia police fed complex. The sign that they are not really dominant comes from them manufacturing themselves a leg up in all these areas. And then they say, okay, now start the race now. It's like, it's like them giving themselves a 399 yard head start in a 400 yard dash and then saying, okay, start the race. You know what I mean, they know they need head starts and false starts to win a race. We've climbed this little mountain known as white false starts plus false narrative around white dominance equals perceived white dominance for a while. And we know where every last chink in their armor is. And this is what they afraid of. They dealing with a lot on their head. I'm just saying as a black group, as a group, this even when I'm wrong, I'm still white concept. We got to start thinking in terms of because I'm black and we've been right for so long, now it's time to be wrong a little bit, but still hold down the right side of shit too. Because we got moral credit built up. That's what the fuck be on my mind, y'all. But that's my topic, y'all. I wanted to get it, y'all. Spit some. And got some more things coming real soon. Y'all check me. Yeah. Just keep your eyes on my channel, man. Get it, y'all.